Okay, let's solve another example. Now if you see, there are two current sources here, 6 ampere current entering and a 10 ampere current leaving. We have to find the V1 and V2 voltages by nodal analysis. So as we learned earlier, we have to take currents. So in this case, uh, I have taken one current I1 entering and these two currents leaving I2 and I3. Similarly here, the same current I2 entering and I4 and I5 leaving. So the first step is that we write the KCL at node number 1. So at node 1, I1 entering and these two leaving 2, 3. So I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. And now we will write in terms of voltage. But since I1 is already given in terms of current 6, so no need to write now in terms of voltage. We just write it as 6 ampere or 6 for I1. For I2, we can see that this current I2 is going from V1 to V2. So we write V1 minus V2 and the resistance is 4 ohms are so divided by 4 ohms. I3 is coming from V1 to 0. So now we don't write 0. We just write V1 divided by the resistance of 8 ohm. And as we did earlier, the LCM in this case is 8, so we multiply both sides by 8, so multiplying both sides by 8 and, and simplifying, we get this as 48, this cuts and gets 2 volt VA, so 2 V, sorry V1 and negative 2 V2. Here A, J, and 8 cancel, so positive V1. And grouping the, the light terms, so we get 3 V1 minus 2 V2 equal to 48. So this is our equation number 1 for node number 1. Now let's go to node number 2. You can see I2 is entering and I4 and I5 leaving. So at node 2, our KCL equation will be I2 is equal to I4 plus I5. Again, converting in voltage, I2, I2 is coming from V1 to V2. So V1 minus V2 divided by 4, divided by 4. I4 we have a current 10 ampere, so we just write that current as 10 ampere. So I4 is 10 ampere and I5 is going from V2 to 0. So we just write V2 minus 0 divided by 2 or we can ignore 0, so it is V2 divided by 2. Now in this case also we can see that the LCM is 4, so we multiply both sides by 4. And then by simplifying, now this, this cuts, so V1 minus V2, this becomes 40, and these become 2V2. So V1 minus V2 equals 40 plus 2V2, and then we again group the like terms, V1 and V2 separately. So we have V1, this comes here, so becomes 3 minus 3V2, three equals 40. So these two equations now we will solve to find out the value of V1 and V2. So these were the two equations we can solve by method of elimination. To do that we multiply, so this one is 3V1, so if we can make it 3V1 then we can cancel. So multiply the bottom equation by 3. And so we get 3V1 minus 9V2 equal to 120. And we bring this equation here and cancel or subtract. So this gets cancelled. And by subtracting, we get negative 7V2 
equals 72 and from here we can find V2 to be negative 10.28 volt. Now putting this value of V2 in any of the equations we can find V1. So we put the value of V2 in equation number 2 in this equation and we can then find the value of V1 to be 9.26 volt. Now another example you can see that we have two nodes V1 and V2 here also you can select your own direction what I have selected here is I1 entering this is I1 entering I2 leaving and I3 leaving so entering is equal to leaving so I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 and we can write the voltage equation says I1 is 5 amperes so I1 we write 5 I2 is going from V1 to V2 so V1 minus V2 divided by 4 and I3 is going from V1 to 0 so V1 minus 0 divided by and same technique we multiply by the LCM that is 4 and we get a simplified form and then we come to node number 2 at node 2 this current is entering I4 is entering and I1 is leaving and I5 is leaving so uh, and I2 is also entering. So the entering is I2 and I4 and leaving is I1 and I5. So entering I2 plus I4, leaving is I1 plus I5. Again write the equations of I2, V1 minus V2 divided by 4 is I2. I4 is 10 ampere, so we write 10 then I1 is 5 ampere so we write 5 and I5 is coming from V2 to 0 so V2 minus 0 divided by 6 the LCM here is 12 so we multiply by 12 and we get the simplified equation now. 2 now these were the two equations that we got uh, now there are several techniques one technique we already learned was the elimination method so you can uh, solve this by elimination method so we, since this is 3 V1 and this is negative 3 B V1 we just add them to get 4 V2 equals 80 therefore V2 is equal to 20 and then put the value of V2 in any of the equation we are putting in equation 1 and we can find the value of V1 to be 13.33 volt so this is one technique but there is another technique also that is called solving by Kramer's rule now what we do in the Kramer's rule that we write the equations in terms of matrix so we write all the coefficients, so coefficients of V1 is 3, coefficient of V2 is negative 1, so negative 1, here the coefficient is negative 3, so negative 3, and the coefficient of V2 here is positive 5, so positive 5. So this is the determinant part, then we write the variables V1 and V2 as like this, V1 and V2, and equals to 20 at the top and 60 for the second equation so 20 and 60 so this becomes our equation in the matrix form now first we find the determinants so this is the determinant and I'm sure you all know how to solve the determinant we just cross multiply the two 15 negative cross multiply the 2 minus 3 equals 12 so this is delta now we need to find 
also delta 1 and delta 2. Now what is delta 1? Delta 1 is when you replace the first column by the output. So we are replacing the first column by the output here. The second column remains same. So this becomes delta 1 and again we solve by cross multiplying. So the delta 1 becomes equal to 160. Same way we will also find delta 2. But in delta 2 instead of first column we replace the second column with the output. So the first column remains intact. The second column is replaced by the output and again by cross multiplying we can get the answer which is 240. Now that we have found out the three determinants, we use the formula of finding V1 is equal to delta 1 over delta. So delta 1 is 160, so 160 and delta was 12 divided by 12. So V1 comes to be 13.33 volt and V2 is now delta 2 over delta. Delta 2 we found here to be 240, so 240 over 12 is 20 volts. So it is the same answer that we got by the elimination method. So these are the two techniques that are commonly used.